don't chase shoplifters. It was a boring day working at a sports shoe store. We had too many staff on the floor so no one was making money and we were all standing around pretending to clean or fix displays. Our manager rarely came out of the back onto the sales floor but he could tell none of us were doing anything by looking at the security cameras. He wanders out just as a customer walks in. We made most of our money from commissions so everyone stood at attention ready to help. Our manager decides that since we were all goofing off he would take the customer. We were all annoyed by that but what are you going to do when your salaried manager wants to take some of your commission? The guy asked to try on four high-end sports outfits so the manager sets him up in a changing room. When he came back out he said he had a bad vibe with this one and to keep an eye out. Guy comes out of the change room and said he didn't want them as he didn't like the fit or fabric. He left the suits in the room he says. Then starts to walk out. I go into the change room and see two of the floor crumpled on the floor in a pile. I immediately tell my boss two of the suits are missing. Now mind you we all just had training by the manager on loss prevention and what to do and not do. We knew the store insurance would cover the loss and never chase or apprehend anyone suspected of theft. The manager was a long time runner so he takes off sprinting after the dude. We are all piling over top of each other to get to the front of the door to watch the chaos ensue. My dumbass manager confronted the guy. Guy is screaming my manager is racist and assumed he was shoplifting because he was black. He kept roaring like a lion in the manager's face. It was bizarre. Manager point put he can see the store tag sticking out from under his clothes. Dude pulls at a knife and stabs the manager right in a family jewel. Manager goes down like a wet bag if cement and security finally shows up and has the guy arrested. Manager goes to the hospital and comes away one jewel less. So lesson learned. Don't chase shoplifters if you value your balls. Of course we couldn't let it go easily and our softball team that year was called the Lone Balls. 